Hi everyone, this is Dr. Manu Krishnan K, and I welcome you all to our Rajna short lectures. And today we'll be discussing an important topic for the first year BAMS students, that is Mrida Samshodana Vidhi. So we will see these all features today. We will see what is the purpose of dissection or the importance of dissection. We will see the cadaver selection criteria in detail and the process of kodana or preservation and the process of samshodana or the dissection. So here, the first thing, let's have a glimpse into the Mrita Samshodana Vidhi. So we have a selection criteria to select the ideal cadaver that has to be dissected. And we have a process of kodana that is nothing but the embalming or preservation process that was followed during that time. And we will see how the dissection was done in the previous era. So the first one, that is the importance of cadaveric dissection. Tasmat nisamshyam nan hartra shalyasya vachata shodayitva mridam samyam drishtavyo anga vinishyaya pratyakshadohi yadrishtam shastra drishtam chayadbhavi samasadastha dubayam bhuyo nana vivardhan. So this particular quote or verse that has been taken from Susrudha Sharirastana defines this particular way. Tasmad nisamshyam nanam hartra shalyasya vachata the one who desires to have proper thorough knowledge in the surgery as well as a clinical practice, Shodayitva Mridam Samyak Drishtavyo Anga Vinishya, that person should have seen all the bodily structures through the process of Mrida Samshodana or the dissection. And why it is like that? Pratyakshadohi Yadrishtam, Shastra Drishtam Chayadbhavi, that means Pratyakshak Nana or that you perceive through your eyes or you what you see in front of your eyes and Shastra Drishta or Shastra Knana, the knowledge that you acquire from the textbooks or Samhitas. Samasadas Tadubayam. So together with that particular practical knowledge and the theoretical knowledge gained from the Samhitas, Bhuyo Knana Vivarda, that upgrades the skill of the physician. So once again, I'll repeat, one who intends to achieve expertise in surgery and clinical practice, he should have undoubtful knowledge of the bodily structures obtained through the dissection process or Mrita Samshodana. Thus, the structures you have perceived by seeing in front of your eyes, along with the theoretical knowledge that you have achieved through the Shastra Jnana, that will upgrade your skills. So that is the importance of cadaveric dissection. Let's see how the selection of cadaver is done. So the continuation of the previous verse is Tasmat Samastha Gatram Avishobahadam Adirga Vyadi Pedidam Avarsha Satikam Nisrishta Andhra Purish. So these are the terms that you can use to explain the selection of Kedav. So let's see each of these terms in detail. Samastha Gatram refers to an bo intact body or a complete body. So the body that you procure for the dissection purpose should be having all the parts intact. And Abhishobahadam refers the person who had had a natural death and it should not be by poisoning. And why it is like that? It should not affect the disciples who are doing the dissection. So if it is by a poisonous intake or something like that, then it can actually affect the disciples who is dissecting over that body. So it should be Abhishobahadam. And Adirga Vyadi Pedidam refers to the diseased person must not be having any chronic illnesses. Why is it like that? Because when you have a chronic illness, that can in turn affect a particular organ and that can create an abnormalcy, like an abnormal growth or shrinkage of a particular organ that can alter its normal anatomy. So when you learn that particular anatomy, that will have a wrong concept in your head. So the person or the body that is procured should not be dead because of any chronic illnesses. And our Shashadikam, that refers to the individual should not be more than 100 years old. Why? As the age progresses, there will be some anatomical changes that also happens in the body. So you won't be able to learn the normal anatomy of the organs from that. That is why the body which is aged more than 100 years are not preferable for the dissection process. And finally, Nisrishta Andhra Purisham. That refers to the fecal matter. Purisham refers to the fecal matter. It should be cleared out or evacuated from the intestines before the process of Kodana. So this is how the selection of cadaver is done. 
so let's have a glimpse once again we'll just revise it sam tasma samasta gatram the intact body with all the body parts avishobahadam should not be dead because of any poison intake and adirga vyadhi peditam without any chronic illnesses and avarsha chatikam should not be aged more than 100 years and finally nisrishta andhra purisham that means the bowel should be cleared out of fecal matter then we have the second one process that is kodana process or the preservation process it is a very interesting process here once you have procured the body purusham avahandyam avagaya nibaddam panjarastam munja valkala kusha sanadina anyatamena aveshtidam aprakashe dese kode so this particular verse taken from susruta sarika purusham refers to the body and avahandyam avagaya nibaddam panjarastam ुलाइटली covering the body in all aspects in order to prevent any external factors to interrupt the normal decomposition process or to avoid as it is kept in a running water there are chances for the other fishes or any other creatures to come and eat away the body parts so to prevent that from happening this particular method is used by covering it with different grasses and it will be kept inside nibaddam panjarastam that means it will be kept inside a wooden cage so here we have a diagrammatic representation of the scene where you can see the body which is tied up with this particular munja valkala kusha sanadi and kept inside a wooden cage and immersed in the running water and one important factor to note apragase deshe kode so the process of kodana or like control decomposition that should be happening in a place where there is enough shade there should not be any direct sunlight aprakashi they say that means if it is in the direct sunlight there are chances for the fast putrefaction of the body so to prevent that from happening this particular method is followed so this is the process of kodana then we have the next process that is nothing but the dissection procedure so the dissection procedure has been explained as follows samyak pragudidam cha udratya tadu deham saptaratra उदृत्यात्र that body should be taken out of the stream on the seventh day and by using kurchas kurcha refers to a sharp instrument or a twig which is sharp enough so the twigs of ushira that is nothing but the a plant and the leaves are very sharp and balavenu refers to the bamboo so bamboo splints can also be used or balwaja kurcha now so all these sharp instruments are made out of these plants and senai senai ravagarshayan tvagadin sarvaneva so in step by step or layer by layer scraping is done with these sharp instruments over the skin and deeper structures thus by bahya abhyandaran anga pratyanga visheshan yadoktan lakshaye chakshusha so by doing that scraping method we will we will be able to visualize all the external that is bahya and uh, internal that is abhyandara that is all the external and internal anga pratyangas all the parts and organs of the body will be visualized by doing this particular scraping method or the dissection procedure and that will be seen with your chakshu or nothing but your eyes so that is through the visual perception you are re reading and uh, you are just analyzing the whole anatomical structures of the body and that is indeed an important fact to remember when it comes to 
this particular Mridha Samshodhana Vidhi. So this concludes the session on Mridha Samshodhana Vidhi and uh, thank you.